Hello, I am Olivia Weibert and I am a leader. Now, what is leadership? Leadership to me is a position of great responsibility where you respect what you believe in. You lead people by setting an example, showing respect and being able to manage conflict. You must learn to manage resources and lead the people. Leadership is an art and a science. In that, the art deals with relationships, interpersonal skills, timing and tempo, power, intuition, and then the science of leadership embodies technical factors like skills and principles, along with expertise of business. As a leader, you are guiding your people towards success of what you all believe in. Simon Sinek explains the golden circle for leaders. This circle consists of why you do what you do, how you do it, and what you are actually doing. The why is most important factor because it explains why you are doing what you are doing. This is what you believe. My why, personally, is that I believe in the gift of oriental medicine. I believe that it works. I believe that it is an important choice that patients should have access to and I believe I can bring awareness to it in our Western healthcare system with the help of others. My limbic brain system controls my why, and I believe that we need to get bridge the gap between Western and Eastern medicine in order to overcome the opioid epidemic. My strengths play a huge role in leadership because no one leads the same way. Everyone is unique. I am a combination of both type A and type B personalities, which really strengthens my leadership abilities to where I am not too uptight, but still hold everyone to a high standard. If someone fails or makes a mistake, I will not overreact, but simply reflect upon the failure to see what we can improve, because we can't. Another strength that assists me in leader, leading others is interpersonal skills and communication. Being able to effectively communicate with others on an interpersonal level makes it easier for me to influence people in a positive way. Now, I took the MBTI assessment, which is also, it's, it stands for the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator. Uh, this is one of the self-awareness tests that will help you define what type of leader you are. Uh, this MBTI assessment gave me the personality type of ESTJ. ESTJ is known as the efficient organizer and stands for extraversion, extraversion, sensing, thinking, and judging. The type description is seen as conscientious, dependable, decisive, outspoken, and self-confident. I found that this test portrayed my personality effectively. Also, there were accurate descriptions of my strengths and my weaknesses, which helped me reflect upon what I need to work on. As far as leadership styles and philosophy goes, I am an authentic leader that leads by example with the role model approach. I believe in building honest relationships with followers to show them that I value their input and respect them. I believe in synergy 100%. One plus one equals three. When you synergize and having valuable team members and followers is essential. Everyone is so unique, including the ways that we all think. So I love hearing ideas from other perspectives. Authentic leadership is all about openness. In order to become a strong leader, you must first develop a sense of self-awareness. That concludes my discussion. Thank you for listening.